Carrie Casaza couldn't understand why she was always behind on her bills, especially working two jobs. I was pretty miserable, just always feeling in trouble and burdened and extremely stressed because I would be afraid, oh my gosh, am I gonna have enough money for groceries or my electricity getting cut off? Carrie went to a financial counselor to get help. It was there she realized her problem. I was spending money and not realizing how much I was spending. Two or three dollars a day spending on a cup of coffee or something like that, that that adds up on a daily basis. And seeing my finances in front of me on a spreadsheet, you know, being told, you know, you actually do make enough money. They taught Carrie how to manage her finances using biblical principles. That included going on a budget and tithing off of all of her income, something she thought she couldn't do. I'd heard about it and just always thought that same saying, you know, I just, I can't afford to do it because I didn't make enough money. And I was always so afraid. Carrie followed their advice, sticking to her budget and tithing. When she made the adjustment to tithing off both paychecks, she noticed a change with her part-time job selling furniture. I was making about two to $400 a paycheck. And then once the shift started, $1,000, $1,100 in one paycheck. And that's one day a week. To see that come in and to realize, oh my gosh, you know, the Lord really has been my source and he's seen that I've been obedient. It, it just blew me away. Then Carrie says God asked her to quit her furniture sales job. She took that leap of faith and now she's enjoying her full-time job in property management even more. Since that time, Carrie says her finances haven't skipped a beat. Even after I pay my tithe and pay my bills, I still have the same amount of money in my account. And I just laugh because I, that's the Lord. Now Carrie has the resources to support ministries she loves, like CBN and Orphan's Promise. I love anything that has to do with little ones and just them finding good homes, you know, watching the stories about them. It just really kind of tugs at your heart. And I just feel like I really have to give to that because I love children. So many people say I can't afford it. Well, you can't afford not to because our money actually is not ours. It all belongs to the Lord and He wants to see that we trust Him enough and believe in Him enough that He's going to take care of us.